in 2021, we did this research with GQR to look at what were the right-wing grievance-based narratives that were being used to drag white women to the right. So what are the issues that they were seeing and believing and they were operating on them to move them to the right? You know, at the top of that list is anti-immigrant narratives, but definitely in there was critical race theory. So we saw that coming and we thought we better get into this and learn more about it. So we were doing um, a deep listening canvas in Wisconsin and we called through to white women in Wisconsin and asked them, how do they feel about critical race theory? What do they think about it? And what we found in those phone calls was that women would say that they're, they're for racial justice, right? Like they think they're for equality, um, but they had reservations. One of them was they were taught that the way to promote racial equality was through colorblindness. And they genuinely believe that talking about race would make things worse. Um, and then the other thing that a number of the moms lifted up for us was that they were scared that their white sons would go to school and be made to feel shame just for being a white boy in America, and, right? And they felt like that's not right. And my job as a mom is to protect him. And I don't want that to be, I don't want him to feel pain through this. The team and I sat together and worked on a bunch of different messages to try to tap into those core values and address the barriers we'd heard. Um, we tested them and the top testing issue or message um, was actually a true story um, that I wrote about my grandfather. My grandfather, Tom Kennelly, was a bomber in World War II. And towards the end of the war, he was stationed in Southern Italy and he was doing these bomber runs into Germany and Austria. And on one of those runs, his plane got shot up and he was paralyzed on one side. His co-pilot was knocked out. They were going down. Out of the sky, they see a Tuskegee Airman and one of those tiny planes coming to save them. And he helped them navigate their way back through the Alps and they landed at the base safely and they all survived. So that was a, a huge moment for my grandfather. And he said that like, he got a purple heart. He was celebrated for his work, but the Tuskegee Airmen who were part of that all black segregated unit did not get the respect they deserved. They did not get treated right. And so we grew up hearing that story and being, it was instilled in us that what it means to be patriotic, what it you know is, a, is about treating everyone with the respect they deserve. And that means dealing with things like the segregation in the military at that time and, and setting things right. And so we tested that message and in the lab, when we tested it, it moved moderate white women 33 percentage points. And, and that is bananas good, right? As you, you see throughout this site. The way that we do ads here is like, we try to get folks to tell their true story because we want it to be authentic and real. I ended up creating it in my dining room with my two kids. And I actually asked my son who is 12 to do it with me because I really wanted to model for these women that you can be, you know, you can have love of family, you can be patriotic, you can have a, a young son who you love and worry about, and, and you can navigate this and believe that you should talk openly and honestly about race and discrimination in schools. And then my eight-year-old daughter was not delighted to not be included. So you'll see in the commercial, by the end, she has wiggled her way in and she's part of the commercial. When we're doing the ad, I was actually showing my kids for the first time, all these pictures and um, of my grandfather. So my kids are like authentically seeing the purple heart for the first time in their life. And my son is like um, trying on my grandfather's hat which I was super touched by. My son met my grandfather once when he was a baby and my daughter never had the opportunity to meet him. So this was um, not only like really powerful for the women who see the ad, but also really powerful for our family because it connected, um, you know, it's in group care. It connected my kids to my grandfather and to like a, a vision of the world in which People are, all people are recognized and celebrated and treated with respect. We're trying to show using positive emotion and love and family. If you believe in racial justice, if you want an America that works better for everyone, it's a good thing to talk openly and honestly about race and discrimination. And that my grandfather, who was a war hero in World War II, would definitely have want you to do that. So that's the story of this commercial. Um, I hope you enjoy it. When my grandfather's B-17 bomber was shot up in World War II, he and his crew were saved by the Tuskegee Airmen, an all-black segregated unit. 
Pop always said those guys never got the respect they deserved, and he urged us kids to always stand up against discrimination. We need to learn from our past so we can continue to make our country great. That's why I support teachers being able to talk with our kids about race and discrimination in a fair and honest way. I know my pop would want that.